bleeding and bruising. After your cancer therapy, you may have a higher risk of bleeding and bruising due to a decrease in platelet counts. Platelets are cells in your blood that are responsible for stopping a bleed. The lower the number of platelets in the blood, the greater your risk for bleeding and bruising. The following are mild symptoms that you may experience. Infrequent nosebleeds, mild bleeding of the gums after brushing your teeth, bruising easily or unexpected bruising. If these symptoms occur frequently or bother you, let your cancer care team know. While most people experience mild symptoms, sometimes the bleeding and bruising can be serious. If you notice any of the following symptoms, get medical help right away. That means going to the hospital emergency if you cannot see a doctor immediately. Blood in the urine or red colored urine. Blood in your stool or black stools. Blood in your vomit or vomit that looks like coffee grounds. Red or brown colored mucus when you cough. Large amounts of bruises or purple or red dots in your skin. Bleeding that is unusually heavy or will not stop. Unusually heavy bleeding during your periods. Unexpected dizziness, constant headaches, or changes in your vision. It is important to avoid activities that can increase your risk for bleeding and bruising. Do not play sports that involve contact or perform work in the house that puts you at risk of falls or injury. It is also important to avoid over-the-counter, prescription, or natural medicines that can increase your risk for bleeding and bruising while you are on treatment. Unless you have specific instructions from your doctor or cancer care team, Avoid the over-the-counter medications that contain ibuprofen or Advil or Motrin, naproxen or Aleve, and aspirin or ASA. Read the ingredients in cough and cold or painkiller products carefully as they often contain these medicines. Avoid natural medicine products such as herbal pills, medical liquids, and vitamins that are associated with the bleeding risk. These can include large doses of vitamin E, ginseng, mushroom supplements, curcumin, and omega-3 supplements, and many more. However, it is safe to eat foods that contain these ingredients. Some people will need to take blood thinners or are prescribed regular doses of aspirin for other medical conditions. If you have been prescribed blood thinners or a daily dose of aspirin, make sure to tell your cancer care team about these medications.